For this week's tip, I want to talk a little bit about insurance and deductibles. And specifically, what I want to talk about is your homeowner's insurance and your automobile insurance. Now, in our office, we are not property casualty agents, but there's a couple little tips that I'll sometimes give to individuals if I get asked the question about, what can I do to reduce my overall insurance cost? One of the things that you can do is take a look at what are the deductibles that you have on your policies. I meet with individuals all the time that they might have a $250 deductible or maybe a $500 deductible. And the question that I'll ask them is, let's say that you're maybe backing out of your garage one day or you're trying to park in a parking lot somewhere and let's say that you just, you happen to bump into a light post or something like that. You don't do a tremendous amount of damage, maybe four, $500 worth of damage to your car. Are you going to actually turn that in to the insurance company? In a lot of cases, the answer is no. And even if you did try and turn it in, a really good insurance agent should probably try and talk you out of doing that. And the reason why is because you don't want your premiums to go up for having a claim. And really what's more important than that is you don't want to have a minor claim followed up by a major claim within a couple of years because the insurance company is probably going to drop you and then you'll pay a lot higher premiums in the future. So one of the things that I'll point out is, well, if you wouldn't turn in that claim, what you're really doing is you're paying for insurance coverage that you're never going to use. Because in order to keep deductibles low, your premiums are going to go higher. So what you can do is you can ask your insurance company, what would happen if I were to increase my deductibles, maybe from $250 to $500 or maybe from $500 to $1,000, whatever you could comfortably afford to kind of self-insure. So you got to make sure you have at least that dollar amount in a savings account or an emergency account if something were to come up. But maybe if you take your deductibles from $500 up to $1,000, that obviously is going to reduce your overall premiums. So maybe you can pocket that savings, but one of the things that I really like to see individuals do is ask the insurance company then, well, if I've reduced my cost by increasing my deductibles, how much will it cost me to add an umbrella policy? Especially if you have a homeowner's policy, you can add an umbrella where you might have a million dollars or two million dollars up to possibly five million dollars worth of coverage if you were to have some sort of accident, somebody, get hurt, somebody were to get hurt in your home, maybe you're in an automobile accident where somebody uh, needs special medical care or attention. You know, in today's environment, uh, attorneys love to see you anytime anything goes wrong. So if you have an umbrella policy, that'll give you an extra layer of protection. In some cases, what you can do is if you increase your deductibles, you'll create a little bit of savings that might pay for the umbrella. So what you're actually doing is increasing the overall level of protection that you have, and it's not going to cost you any additional money out of pocket. So that's this week's tip.